a new danger for diabetics. Letting blood sugar get too low may damage the brain. In older patients with type 2 diabetes, those with a history of severe hypoglycemic events were at a greater risk of dementia when they were in old age. The study that found the increased risk of dementia looked at over 16,000 elderly type 2 diabetics. Those never hospitalized with low blood sugar had a 10 percent chance of dementia. That risk increased by 45 percent after one hospitalization, 115 percent after two, and 160 percent after three or more. When the sugar levels drop, there is impairment of brain function. And if it drops long enough, and if it's low enough, it can cause long-term damage. Unfortunately for us, the part of the brain that's most susceptible to low blood sugars is also the seat of memory, the hippocampus. Blood sugar crashes either when patients eat too little or take too much medication, such as insulin. 58-year-old California school superintendent Jim Negri knows what that feels like. Lightheaded, uh, some dizziness, uh, sometimes a clammy feeling. Even diabetics without hypoglycemia are more likely to have memory problems. So Negri is doing everything he can to keep his blood sugar properly balanced. Anything that's bad for the heart, which includes obesity, diabetes, hypertension, all of those will also be bad for the brain. The message from this study is it's really important for diabetics to control their blood sugar. It shouldn't be too high or too low. Harry? Dr. John LaPook, thanks.